Hi guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can achieve long lasting curls on your hair with no heat. If you want to see how I do it, then please keep on watching this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please now is a good time for you to click on the subscribe button just right below. Also, turn on the post notification bell right beside the subscribe button so you know when next I upload a new video to this channel. So guys, without further ado, let's get right into the video. I'm going to show you how to call this beautiful wig i have here i'm thinking this wig has already been washed and conditioned i just um put some highlights in a wig if you like to see how i put highlights in my wig let me know in the comment section so the client wanted me to just put in some blonde slash brownish highlights on her wig so that's what i did here but by the time the wig is fully dried you guys get to see how the full turnout is but for right now let's start coiling this this wig cut your hair into small sections starting from the upper part and run your comb through it so i'm using a styling mousse yeah it helps the curl last longer because it kind of makes the curl it makes the curls it makes the hold on the curl, curl stronger without making your hair strong so this styling mousse is very necessary you can even get other brands of the styling mousse but you need to use a styling mousse when doing this and you also need to get these hair rollers if you don't have these hair rollers you can use the bending rollers and just roll, roll the hair on the bending rollers and clip it with the ends of the bending rollers or like i'm using this old type of rollers i'm just using a rubber band to secure the hair on the rollers or if you have the new type of rollers that has a clip all you just need is just put the clip on and continue with the next next section so what i'm doing now is just make sh making sure that the pattern on the wig is really straight and i'm just going in now just to cut in the next section of the hair that i'm going to go using the rollers so cut the small section apply the mousse make sure the mousse goes all through the hair from the all parts down to the tip of the hair then I'll start to curl the hair all around the rollers and just roll it up to just almost like um five in five inches away from the upper part of the hair. Then I'll secure it down with the rubber band. And I tend to use about two to three rubber bands just to make sure I get a very good grip on the hair. So this is a very repetitive process. The key thing is go in sections and follow a pattern cut the hair in sections such that it's very smooth and and um yeah kind of like following it like from the up path i'm just graduating going lower going lower so like then i also navigate back to the up path i go lower to i get to the very end of the bottom part and then go back to the up path and get to the bottom end of the um of the week of the week just so that every like the pattern if the call is just fully particular pattern it's very necessary that you get this right so that the finished look look the finished look of your wig comes out nice so just keep watching the process because really it's very repetitive all you need is your um a comb like the comb i'm using right now and of course your styling molds and whatever you'll be using to set your calls could either be a bending rollers or this um calls i don't know what they call this stuff sure. but they use this for washing and setting in salons just get something that you can use it to call your hair so guys let me just allow you guys to keep watching the process until i get to the part of finishing this week
So guys, this is the finished, almost finished look of what it looks like. So everything has been called now and secured with the rubber band. So what I'm going to do now is just take this outside to sun dry it. I'm going to leave it outside for about 3 days to 4 days before I take out. Or even 2 days, 2 days to 4 days before I take out all of this. Then you get to see how the coal is turn out looking. See, I'm just setting it aside out here. Where it really gets a lot of heat from the sun. So it's going to dry. Yeah. So guys, you can see this part after I dropped the hair from the rollers, you can see that that part that wasn't rolled looks rough. That's the reason why I use that iron to straighten it. If you don't want to use your iron, you can use your hair straightener. Just take the hair after you roll it out and just straighten that whole part. For me, I just find using an iron easier. That's why I just tend to use an iron. If you cannot be careful with your iron, please do not use an iron the way I use an iron. Use your hair straightener to straighten the part that of the part of the hair that looks rough. Like this area you see here now that looks a bit rough. You need to straighten it with your hair straightener. But I use an iron most times. So let's continue. And we are almost we are almost done really. So I just took off that last um, the last rollers right now. So after I'm done taking that, what I'm going to reach out for is a hair serum, and I tend to use the argan oil hair serum this is just to add some shine to the upper part of the hair what i'm doing now is i'm just trying to straighten the part of the wig that is rough so i'm just using that small comb to just comb through the hair while i put the iron on it to straighten it to make sure it's very smooth guys for your wigs when styling your wigs you need to make sure you style your wigs very well it's one thing to set the cords and another thing to make sure that you style the other parts that you will be doing cord just so that it looks really nice and really good like it looks rich you don't want to be having your hair looking like it's cheap just because you didn't style style it well because truly the beauty of hair comes from how you style it if you don't style your hair well it wouldn't look very nice even this part here that i forgot i later went on to straighten the front part of that um, hair that looked a bit rough so make sure you do a very good job when you are styling your wigs so thanks so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and share with your friends who you think are gonna learn from it and also leave a comment on what you want to see next bye